So shalom and welcome. Welcome. So I'm just going to do a quick overview of what's going on during the breaking of bread and the wine, if you're doing Passover or when you do your communion. So let's just do a little historical dive into what's actually happening. So the first time we see this is when Abraham and Melchizedek meet and Abraham brings out bread and wine with Melchizedek. So what's going on, Abraham at that point, we see he swears an oath to the God of Most High. He gives a tenth of his stuff to Melchizedek. So what's happening here with the bread and the wine is during ancient times, it's a contract. It was a custom back then to break bread, eat dinner, and you bring out your best wine and give your wine with them. So if you wanted to share land and call a, you know, a ceasefire, if you wanted your cattle to graze with somebody else, if you wanted to exchange stuff, if you did a contract, you would bring out your best wine and you would break bread with them and you would have a meal. This eventually evolves over time into slaughtering one of your animals and having the blood spill during contracts, which we seem to be a little bit more familiar with. Now, at this point in time, it states immediately after this, this is where Abraham ends up having God tell him about all his descendants and showing Abraham that his descendants are going to be enslaved in Egypt. He also shows Abraham in a dream about sacrifices. So we see this is the, the precursor to Passover. So now we get to Yeshua. When Yeshua is at the table and he breaks the bread and says, this is my body, and he takes the, the wine and he says, this is the blood of the covenant, he's actually performing a contract, much just like nowadays, if you were to buy something or agree to something, you would sign your name on paper. Again, bread and your best wine is a contract. His Talmud or his disciples, they would have known exactly what was going on when he was doing this, when he's breaking bread and wine and giving it to them and giving them terms. Now we know in the Bible, in the scriptures, they don't really know the implications of everything he's trying to tell them of all the prophecies, but they know they are signing into some contractual agreement with the Messiah. Now, whenever you're having your Passover, Yeshua it says for us to do this. He says, do this. Every time you do this, do this in remembrance of me. The church has taken it out and made it into communion. They've taken one piece of the bread and one, well, one aspect of the bread and one aspect of the wine. There's at least four or five times the bread takes place in the Seder meal at Passover, and there's four, actually five times the wine has a place within the Seder meal for Passover. Church took out one aspect. So when Jesus says, every time you do this, do this in remembrance of me, he ain't talking about just the bread and wine at one time. He's talking about the entire context of the setting, which is the Passover meal. And it's clear in the scriptures, it says they were at Passover. So, Paul further in 1 Corinthians tells us, I think 1 Corinthians 5, that we should keep the feast. And again in 1 Corinthians 11, when he's explaining about Jesus breaking the bread and giving the wine and explaining, the, the you know, this is my body, this is my wine, he also states every time you do this, meaning the Passover, you proclaim Jesus' death until he returns again. So what's happening is you are annually to take in the Passover meal. You're annually re-signing or commemorating a contract every year that you've made with the Messiah for what he's going to do or what he's done on the cross and through the resurrection. So anyways, that's the meaning behind what's happening at communion and as i said communion is church theology you shouldn't be doing it every sunday i'm not saying you, it's bad i'm just saying it's taken totally out of context this is the passover that you're supposed to do once a year anyways there you go that's how 
the Passover and the communion, the bread and the wine actually work. So this year, celebrate your renewal of your contract. Anyway, shalom. Happy Passover.